course, but because there's something interesting in the tree in front of the giraffe, not in the tree, below the tree. And we came around the corner and there we go. The value of exploring a new area has revealed itself in the form of three, maybe four, very sleepy lions. I think there's four lionesses or three lionesses there. Wait, let's see if we can do a head count. They're all so flat it's hard to see. Okay, there's definitely three. There might be a fourth lioness somewhere in that puddle of grass-coloured skin. Legs up in the air, exposing their bellies to the sky. And then one big male. So, now the question for us, of course, is who on earth are these lions? The male, I imagine, is one of the members of the dominant coalition of this area. Hey, oh, head down again. <laughs> hey, is that nice, boy? Enjoying a little bit of the afternoon sun. Now, there's three named members of the coalition in this area. One is Halftail. He's got half a tail, so that's definitely not him. One is Fang, who's missing a tooth. And one is Blondie, because every reserve needs a male called Blondie. And then there's a fourth member of the coalition that's slightly more mysterious and, in fact, has only started being seen in recent weeks. Now, it gets a little bit confusing there. I'm not going to put too much sort of conjecture as to exactly who this might be until he lifts his head properly. As for the females, my guess, again, it's a guess, I would guess and say it's the Olololos. The Olololo pride do spend a lot of time around here. The Olololo pride, as far as I know, has three females. So if there's a fourth female there, then it really adds some confusion. So what we need to do when these lions are kind enough to lift their heads is to try and get as many screenshots as possible so that I can take them across to the researchers and they can give us an update as to exactly which pride this is. Now while our lions have got not much on their mind apart from sleeping, Carter's wondering about something slightly more dramatic, which is how often do you get predator-on-predator -predator conflict in the Mara? I would say every single day, certainly every single evening. There are so many hyenas around. We saw that the other evening with the Angama Pride's hunt when they took down that zebra. You've got a situation where you've got so many hyena, they are inevitably going to come into contact with the lions or conflict with the lions, especially when the lions kill something. Uh, cheetah and lion conflict is very common. Cheetah and hyena conflict is very common. I would say it happens on a daily basis out here. But it's something that is very, very common indeed. And I'm, I think it's something that we're going to see lots of in the future. I'm just waving hello to one of the other guides. Ow! I'm going to sit patiently with our lions and see if they get up so, to, so as to reveal who they are. Meantime, Scott has got the largest feathered creature on the planet.